नमस्कार रसोई के रहस्य में फेस्टिवल्स ऑफ इंडिया आपके साथ फिर से एक बार लेकर मैं आई हूँ हम दशहरा बहुत लंबा निकल गया लेकिन इंटरेस्टिंग इतना है और इतनी अलग अलग जगह पे सेलिब्रेट किया जाता है आई थिंक देर इज नो अदर वे ऑफ डूइंग दशहरा जस्टिस दैन विजिटिंग वेरियस रीजन टू नो हाउ इट इज सेलिब्रेटेड अब दुर्गा पूजा हमने आसाम में मनाई लेकिन आई थिंक दुर्गा पूजा विल नेवर बी कंप्लीट इफ यू डोंट विजिट वेस्ट बंगाल एंड नो हाउ द बंगाली सेलिब्रेट दिस आई थिंक देर इज एब्सोल्यूटली नथिंग बिगर देन दैट टूडे आई हैव अ गेस्ट हु गोइंग टू बी स्पीकिंग विथ मी अबाउट जस्टिस शी हैज सम वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग इन्फॉर्मेशन टू शेयर विद अस so let me not waste any more time in welcoming my guest today who is a wonderful storyteller nupur hoshal hi nupur welcome to rasoi ke rahasya hi pail namaskar to everybody i am nupur hoshal this side i know you're a storyteller i know you work with children why don't you give us a little glimpse into what nupur does and what makes her happy yes i was actually wanting to share all this well so nicely introduced by pail my name is nupur ghoshal and i am a storyteller actually we all are storytellers in some way or the other but of course this has become my profession as in now i am a teacher by profession and have been teaching for good 35 years oh wow in schools yeah in in different schools in various different capacities to different classes but you know the storytelling happened to me in a miraculous way when the schools shut down during the lockdown period this as if you know came to me as a boon it dropped in my jolly like a boon you know i was waiting for it and and it came to me i was told to do storytelling with little children in primary classes in primary Level and um, for the past two two and a half years, online, offline, I have been doing storytelling, and I am just loving it. I can only imagine and imagine with little children. I think there's nothing more satisfying than seeing you know they're having their rapt attention and seeing those beautiful smiles on their faces. Yes, absolutely, by your right. So today we are getting into the musty of the kapuja and the absolute fervor with which. Every Bengali celebrates the Kapuja and the Day of the Shri. So I'm yes. going to wait for you to give us all the wonderful information. मेरे को तो पहले से ही बहुत excitement हो रही है कि कितना information हमारे पास आएगा, कौन सी कहानी में देखी सुनने को. So so tell us, Nupur. I know a little bit about you know this whole celebration and that it begins from the sixth day of the Navratri, that is the Shashti. So now over That's to you and. I'm not going to interrupt you. I'm going to listen to you just as rapidly as your children do. Yes, for sure. I will love to share that because I have been telling this story to my children, and I have seen the joy on their faces, the excitement, and the way they have been engrossed to know about what Durga Puja is all about. Absolutely. So here we go. Payal, well, in North India, most of the time, uh, people know the Shara as Ram Lila happening and. with the on the 10th day with the burning of the effigy of ravan that is how the festival ends basically mm-hmm. ravan dahan is the main charm of dashera in north india but we bengalis celebrate durga puja during this dashera time and just like ravan killing of ravan was giving an end to the evil mm-hmm. and with the same spirit of all the festivals as in the victory of good over evil with the same intention with the same aim is durga puja celebrated now who is the evil who is the demon in durga puja what happens how this demon is destroyed is the story behind this celebration so it so happened that many years ago there was a demon in our earth who had a buffalo head and a human body his name was mahishasur now mahishasur is a sanskrit word is a sandhi vichhed of two sanskrit words mm. the first being mahish and the second being asur 
तो महेश मीन्स अ बफेलो and asur is of course a demon so the buffalo headed demon is mahishasur now mahishasur was he just lived the way he wanted to live but one beautiful thing about mahishasur was he was a big devotee of brahma so you know often during the day many a times he would sit to pray and to chant his mantras and remember brahma and do yagnas so one fine day brahma came down to see his devotee and when he was there wanting to bless him he said that you are my devotee you are my such a good bhakt and you remember me every day i am here to grant a wish for you ask what you want to ask and that is when little greed little evil started mm-hmm. to go for in mahishasur's head mm-hmm. he thought that oh he became a little greedy that oh brahman is here in front of me he is wanting to uh, grant a boon so what should i ask i should ask something you know something priceless something really big what should i ask what is there that i should ask for mm-hmm. and then suddenly it dawned on him that i have everything i can achieve everything but let me ask for immortality i want to be immortal so when mahishasur wanted this to be granted now brahman was confused brahman was in a loop he did not know what to do then he couldn't have said ki no you change your wish or i mm-hmm. won't be able to grant it but mm-hmm. in his heart of hearts he thought that immortality is only you know all right with gods demons mm-hmm. should not or cannot uh, be immortal but then he thought to you know some way or the other mold his words and grant him the wish mm-hmm. so he said okay uh, my shasur you will live here for years mm-hmm. and no lady no man will be able to kill you ever no man on earth or no man in the heaven will be able to kill you ever so listening to that my shasur you know found it very funny and then he started to laugh and then he said that uh, brahman you say no man on earth or in heaven will be able to kill me do you mean to say that some woman will kill me that alone means that i am immortal i will live forever and when he was trying to recheck reconfirm brahman went back to heaven now mahishasur's villainish acts kept on increasing by the day and the blessing that he got from brahman it started to get on to his head and he started mm. thinking no end to his powers mm. and he started to misuse his powers troubling others you know being greedy being jealous and so so much so that he became so powerful he would visit heaven also so mm. he would go and trouble the little god babies also he would say that hey what are you doing move away this is my place this cloud is mine i want to be here i want to sit here i want to rest here don't play here go away look how strong i am move move so you know the god babies initially felt bad about it and they mm. thought that they could have a dialogue with mahishasur and put across some sense to him that this is not the way that's not how one should behave but when they wanted to have a dialogue mahishasur was so full of pride mm-hmm. he did not want to talk he mm-hmm. said no no i don't want to talk i want you to move away just leave this place this is mine and you know this is how the gods in the heaven and people in on earth everybody was so troubled by mahishasur so finally the god babies decided to ask for help from their elders so they asked their elders how to get rid of or how to teach a lesson to mahishasur so then the elders in heaven told the god babies to collect little bit of their power all of us are full of you know immense power in each individual there's a lot of power there's a lot of god qualities the elders said that okay you all have a lot of power in you so pull out a little shakti from yourself and collect it together and see what the collective energy does so that is what the god babies did they asked what is it going to yield so the elder said you wait and see there's going to be a miracle so when all the god babies put little little of their shakti into one place from that blossomed lotus you know the lotus bloomed and from that lotus stood out a beautiful almond eyed pretty looking girl so the god babies stopped to look at her and they realized that she had some charm and some uh, some you know aura mm. about her mm. about her appearance and then they discovered that she had 10 hands so they knew looking at her with her 10 hands they knew that oh this is the miracle and this lady this girl is going to do something to solve our problem and god babies decided to adorn the beautiful girl giving 
each one of them g- giving one weapon to this beautiful girl mm. and that is how this girl in all her 10 hands got weapons somebody gave a conch somebody gave a dagger somebody gave a sudarshan chakra somebody gave a javelin and this is how she got the 10 weapons in her hand and with the 10 weapons she got her vahan the the, uh, the lion and then she sat on the lion and mm. then she went again with the intention of having a dialogue with mahishasur mm-hmm. but as usual mahishasur was not ready for a dialogue and she he humiliated humiliated this girl mm-hmm. durga mm-hmm. so he again said what what talk i don't want to get into any talk and that angered the girl and then she got into the warrior dance the tandav mm-hmm. so while doing the tandav move uh, moves mahishasur also joined uh, her in the tandav moves mm-hmm. and while you know Um, taking those moves at one point in time she pulled out out the uh, javelin mm-hmm. and she just pierced it in mahishasur's chest and uh, that is how she made him know that you know evil cannot just go on and on and on endlessly wherever there is overflow of evil good comes and takes charge so that is how she ended the evil doings of mahishasur and this is what we get to see in the pandals during durga puja time that goddess durga at her feet is mahishasur and uh, she has uh, slain him and okay another interesting thing is beside durga there are four other idols they are her four children so on one side is um, uh, lakshmi and uh, ganesh and the mm-hmm. other side is saraswati and kartik so it is believed that that this earth is durga's mother's place parental home um. so every year for these four days from shashti till navmi mm. she visits her mother's place as in the children come to their grandparents nana nani's house yes. and once you come to your parental house or the children are there in their nana nani's house it is of course time for celebration so that is how the pandals are so beautifully decorated and we everybody in the family buys new clothes we get new clothes sometimes 10 pairs you know we change the <laughs> morning yes sometimes it's like that you know morning and evening we wear new clothes of course, of course. so this is the little uh, story that we bengalis you know every year we have this story aired on uh, radio and in television also it is telecast on these these uh, days we get to see it as maisha surmardini so now if we i know that they begin on chashti on chashti hmm. this is- They, they mm. begin in the evening with the mela and things like that, mm. and celebrations begin. Mm. And when you look at the idol, what I remember of the idol of Ma Durga in a Bengali pandal, it's very, it's mm. very different from what you see, you know, in other places. Let's say in the north, as Ma Shira Wali or whatever it is, mm. the her her, you know, mukut and her eyes and the flowers that they put. Would you be able to describe a little bit of that for our listeners? So while there is no very fixed uh, rule as such mm-hmm. as to how the decoration has to be okay. the decoration is entirely uh, one's choice and mm-hmm. depends on one's budget mm-hmm. so you know the white uh, thermocol sort of a thing that you get to see right. generally in mm-hmm. most of the pandals that mm-hmm. is known as darker shaj okay. that is called a darker shaj mm-hmm. yes that's the pit for पेड़ के पेड़ के शाख के उसके अंदर से निकला हुआ होता है हाँ मेरे ख्याल से यू आर राइट एंड दैट इज अ वेरी ऑथेंटिक डेकोरेशन फॉर दुर्गा पूजा वी जनरली गेट टू सी दैट इन इन स्मॉल मेजर्स इन बिग मेजर्स इन मोस्ट ऑफ द पंडाल्स बट बिसाइड दैट people also do other decorations according to their whims and fancies so i will tell you something not this year but one of these years in recent days in recent times i saw in one pandal they had used you know a lot of artistic angles you get to see so in one pandal it was all waste utensils as in a waste kadai a waste a spoon a waste karchi ladles and mm. and plates and uh, you know bhagonas and and all variety of 
utensils they had used to do up the Durga's idols and the other uh, four idols and the entire thing was done with all these waste materials mm. and it sounds not so nice to say waste materials they used but then they yeah. added so much value to it I can't tell you. I know and automatically when it's the idol of a celebration and you know it's Durga Ma's idol and things like that mm. even those recycled materials become so important and it's, it's such a good thought to be recycling yes. things from the house and you know from your kitchen it becomes the Ma's uh, you know entire group it's so wonderful to think about it yes so is there any particular uh, you know method uh, I know that uh, like Ashtami day in the morning they have Anjali and things like that so is there hmm. uh, uh, would you be able to run us through you know what happens during the celebration I know of course there are pandas there are stalls there's food and hmm. various other hmm. such things but in terms of hmm. the actual puja um, hmm. what, what happened? It's different, I know, and it's very nice um, to think hmm. about it. So, would you be able to walk us through that? Yeah. Yes, yes, sure. So, you know uh, what? Uh, Shashti, like we discussed, that the Durga Puja starts from Shashti, mm -hmm. right? But Shashti is just uh, the initiation of the Puja. The idols are there, they are mm -hmm. put up in the pandals, mm -hmm. and the pandits who are attached to that particular pandal, mm -hmm. he infuses life into those idols. That was another thing I wanted to uh, talk when I mm -hmm. talked about those uh, recycling. You know, mm -hmm. recycle mm -hmm. karke to banaya. And that was just a recycled idol, but then they infuse life into those idols for the yeah. four days, you know. So mm. that is what makes the idol's eyes glow. You can really feel the the life, the liveliness in, in those idols. They are not just idols, idols, because their whole seva hoti hai in four days. So, um, so Shashti is the day when there is Pran Pratishtha done. Okay, during the day. And then also the idols are not totally ready for people to come and worship and to do any prayer or anything. Mm. But they are there. You can just come and see. They are still mm. in the process of doing it up. Doing all the four, uh, five idols up. Mm. In some places it is ready. In some places it is not. Shashti basically is of course the official start. Mm. But no, it's majorly for the married women who have children. They fast for some time in the morning and then they do the puja. It is only for the married people to do this puja. Mm -hmm. Other people, the gents and the children, they can eat and merry make whichever mm -hmm. they want. Shashti wale din jo puja hoti hai, it mm -hmm. is more of a little matki and on mat us matki ke upar hum puja karne jate hai. So basically we call it ghat puja. Ghat ki puja hoti hai, which is yeah. somewhere close to the mm -hmm. yeah, idol. Mm -hmm. But idol se related straight away hum koi pushpanjali, koi puja us din aise bhoat hoti nahi hai. Us din mela hota hai, we call it anundo mela. Anundo mela uh, bahar lagate hai, mm -hmm. stalls lagate hai. Mm -hmm. Children come and joy and then they know that okay from today evening the fun begins then next day is saptami the seventh day of navratri so saptami mon saptami ashtami and nomi all mm. three days it's in the morning time we generally try and not eat before we give the pushpanjali so yeah we uh, freshen up take a bath and wear our uh, new clothes and all na ke kapde pehen ke hum jate hain pandal aur ja ke it is around 9 9 30 between 9 and 10, 10 30, a dead ghanteta, ye pushpanjali ka time hota hai. So we all go there, assemble there, mm -hmm. and the pandits they give us some flowers in our hand and then they chant the mantras and we repeat it. Mm -hmm. So that is the starting of the of these three days. Then evening they have aarti. Mm -hmm. uh, the aarti is done beautifully and it's uh, made more and more fancy, you know, with the uh, dance that they perform. The uh, earlier it used to be the men folk who would perform the dance, but these days ladies also. And I I have a urge to at least in once in my lifetime I also want to do that. You know, you must watch with me. So they hold those. Uh, it's a half matki which has those you know uh, the choir which we get out of those uh, coconut uh -huh. coconut ki jo bahar ki jo usko dal ke usko jalate aur usme wo dalte hain jo yagn mein dala jata hai jisse bahut achhi khushboo aata hai they put that powder and they, they hold that and then they dance they perform their uh, whatever apni shraddha us tarah se wo dikhati hai bhagwan ke samne wo jalti bhi matkiyon ko pakad ke dance karte hain so that is called dhunuchi dance Okay, okay, that's okay. particular thing is called Dhunuchi. Mm -hmm. 
तो ये होता है शाम को आरती और आरती के बाद देन आरती इज ओवर रेस्ट ऑफ द अदर निटी ग्रिटीज द पंडित दे कैरी ऑन भगवान जी को भोग लगाना सुबह का शाम का भी पीपल आर नॉट सो क्लोजली इन्वॉल्व और यू नो वी डोंट वेट देर फॉर ऑल दैट बट आरती के बाद रात में देन एवरी पंडाल होस्ट सम कल्चरल फंक्शन इधर इट इज इन द लोकैलिटी और दे इन्वाइट ट्रूप एंड दे हैव सम कल्चरल फंक्शन विच हैपन्स टिल लेट एट नाइट एंड पीपल आर देयर ऑल ओवर मूविंग फ्रॉम पंडाल टू पंडाल पंडाल हॉपिंग इज इन एनी केस वेरी गुड एंड द ब्यूटिफुल थिंग आई मस्ट एड यू नो वेन इट कम्स टू दुर्गा पूजा एंड टॉकिंग अबाउट बेंगोलीज वी आर सच बिग फूड इज दैट यू नो नवरात्र में तो इतनी रिस्ट्रिक्शन होती है खाने की बट हम बंगालियों का कभी भी कुछ पूरा नहीं होता जब तक कि हमारे यहाँ नॉन वेजिटेरियन ना खाया सो या सो इन ऑल पंडाल्स अ लिटिल अवे फ्रॉम द आइडल्स देर आर हंड्रेड ऑफ स्टॉल्स ऑफरिंग यू अ वेराइटी ऑफ ऑल काइंड ऑफ नॉन वेजिटेरियन एंड वी एंजॉय ऑल दैट बट ऑफकोर्स षष्टी एंड अष्टमी Now, mm-hmm. like I told you, Shashti is for children, and Ashtami is again the married women's fast for their husbands. Right. And our fasting is very funny, you know. We don't. Uh, our fasting means we don't eat non-veg, and we don't <laughs> eat rice. <laughs> we can have n number of things. We can have n number of time. Only thing is, we restrict ourselves from non-vegetarian food. And fair rice. enough. Fair enough. That's enough of a sacrifice, I would think, for a Bengali. <laughs> Yes, the pork. What is the pork? Is also special. Oh yes, how could we miss that? Oh, okay. So the pork is a big charm for all of us. So every afternoon from Saptami, it doesn't happen on Chashti, of course, but mm-hmm. Saptami, Ashtami, and Nami. All three days, it's like a community eating we do. Mm-hmm. and all pandals host this lunch which mm-hmm. is called bhog and uh, in bhog they offer the goddess khichdi and it's a mixed vegetable and a dal and some kind of uh, you know pakoda mm-hmm. and uh, chutney kheer it's a good uh, spread of uh, bengali food mm-hmm. and uh, basically khichdi happens to be the most authentic and my All time favorite. Yes, But, it uh, is the kitchi. It's so it's so wholesome and so wonderful. Yes. I love the Bengal kitchi. But though these days they are making it fancier and fancier, you know, one <laughs> make it kitchi. Another day they will make some pulao. And you know what, Payal, this is so funny. I keep asking. Okay, आज तो अष्टमी है, आज किचड़ी प्रसाद होगा कि पूरी तो नहीं होगा. So sometimes they uh, give us misinformation. You know, they say नहीं नहीं यार किचड़ी होगा. And when you go and you end up looking at puri or pulao, and it is so upsetting. So then we try and you know go into other pandals to check कि अच्छा कहाँ किचड़ी है. We'll stop and there. No, that's and that's that's a traditional thing to us also when we think. When we hear of yes. Ashtami and things like that in a Bengali, you know, Durga Puja, we always hear of it being kitchen. So, अभी फिर फिर Ashtami के दिन ये होता है पूरा kitchen. So, we may, मतलब जो भी रोज भोग सप्तमी अष्टमी नवमी तीनों दिन भोग. तीनों दिन afternoon भोग we enjoy and that is what is our lunch. Of course, it is your choice. If you don't want to, then there are so many pandals. Of course, so of many course, yeah. Stalls in every pandal. Mm. You can go and have that. Mm. But this is. free available for whosoever walks into the pandal and this is on till late you know even if you are late suppose it's a working day and you reach the pandal 3 o'clock 3:30 4 o'clock till 4 o'clock i guess in many pandals they continue to offer you prasad how nice that's that's, that's the beauty of the whole thing yes. so nobody misses yes. out on it Yes, absolutely. And Navmi is also. I mean, there is nothing in the celebration. There is nothing very different, different. because okay. it is. Hmm. Yeah, hmm. because morning again we have Pushpanjali. Then again afternoon we have our uh, whatever prasad we have, like the other two days. And uh, evening we have arti, and uh, it being. the last day sometimes the celebrations at night the cultural functions are really nice they sometimes keep special functions on Nav- navmi just to you know yeah uh, to be before and, binding it all up and yes, dashera yes. is the dashera is the big sun send off yes and one more thing i would want to talk about is uh, there is another very special little ritual which happens on ashtami actually it depends whether it is actually falling on ashtami or it's a it's the you know uh, time when ashtami is mo- moving out and navami is starting okay. so this little puja is called shondhi pujo so sometimes it happens in the middle of night sometimes it is 
इन द लेट आफ्टरनून इट डिपेंड वॉट इज द टाइम वो जो पंडित जी पंचांग टाइम दिखाते तो उस हिसाब से हमारी ये शुंगी पूजा होती है सो इन दिस अगेन यू नो देर आर 108 दिया जलाया जाता है एंड देन हंड्रेड हंड्रेड एंड एट लोटस फ्लावर्स आर यूज फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर पूजा सो बिकॉज इट हैपन्स एट यू नो डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टाइम एंड सम मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम इट्स ऑड आवर्स आई ओनली दिस ईयर आई गॉट अ चांस टू सी इट अदर्स आई हर्ड ऑफ इट बट इधर इट्स आफ्टरनून और इट्स लेट नाइट और मिड नाइट आई हैव नेवर सीन बट दिस टाइम फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम बिकॉज इट वॉज अ वेरी गुड टाइम दिस ईयर इट वॉज इट अराउंड फोर फिफ्टीन टू फाइव ओ क्लॉक सो आई कुड सिट एंड वॉच आई मीन नथिंग वेरी डिफरेंट इन द पूजा बिकॉज वी डोंट रियली अंडरस्टैंड द मंत्राज दैट द पंडित चांस बट इट्स नाइस टू सिट देयर एंड वॉच सो मेनी यू नो दियाज टूगेदर एंड एंड देर आर पीपल हु sponsor the diyas probably there yeah. are 108 people you know who wish something and yeah. say that okay i will one diya will be from my end it's like that so see it is that sense of community is always so heartening you know at all other times everyone is so busy but when it comes mm. to the time of the puja i think everybody yes. just gathers as one uh, in any case absolutely so little bit of vijaya dashmi also i would want to say that yes. vijaya dashmi morning time all married ladies everybody else also goes but married ladies they all go to, to bid bye bye bid farewell to durga ji now it is believed that durga ji like i said she comes to her mother's place mm. the earth is her mother's place so on the fifth day she winds up her staff her children and then she goes back to kailash parvat mm. with teary eyes we say her bye bye with you know putting little mithai in her mouth and with putting vermilion unke sir pe hum sindoor laga the sindoor khela uh, and then the ladies play sindoor we put on each others forehead aur fir uske baad hum thoda holi ke jaisa khelte hain and uh, then we bid her bye with a heavy heart we feel sad to uh, yes, send her off yes and then we say we say that ashe bachor abar e show please come back again to us how wonderful so sweet and then after that i think the same day then they do the visarjan of the, the yes. id yes same day they do visar visarjan but these days the visarjan rules have changed they don't immerse the idols in the rivers they have now in each pandal or in each uh, you know a zone wise they have made little uh, this thing little pools they have i think fabricated yes. pools most places even for ganpati they've started which is which is a nice way of uh, you know containing the everything in one area and one zone itself yeah, absolutely absolutely so beautiful and in calcutta to it Calcutta, so it takes a, a, a month to you know uh, give an end to it because there are so many pandals and so many idols. Yeah, it really I'm takes sure. a lot of time. I'm sure in, it must be. Time. That's how it is in most places. In any case, mm-hmm. now we have made it. Durga Puja is made. All is done. Now, what do we have to eat? Absolutely, food is not enough. Bengali food is not enough. So, Payal, there are two things you know which I would want to talk about and. Talk नवमी वाले दिन हमारे यहाँ बहुत पसंद से सब लोग हिलसा फिश खाते हैं यू नो दैट अगेन इज अ रिचुअल दैट हिलसा इफ यू कुक हिलसा दैट्स दी बेस्ट एट होम सो दो हिलसा इज नाउ becoming an endangered uh, species mm-hmm. and uh, we at the same time discourage people to eat it very often and eat it all the while and eat mm-hmm. it when it is not even half a kg weight but uh, again it's a ritual that on navmi we eat hilsa so very good recipe hilsa recipe i would like to share that you know it's a very simple thing uh, making bhapa ilish that is mm-hmm. steamed hilsa mm-hmm. so we buy the fish cut it clean it and you know marinate it for a few hours if it is overnight it is ideal otherwise marinate it of uh, it for a couple of hours with just salt and uh, turmeric namak aur haldi laga ke usko rakh de to andar acche se uske namak ghus jata hai and that really adds to the taste after that just make a really thick paste suppose if you have 6 to 8 pieces of hilsa you make a thick paste with yellow mustard seeds and right. poppy seeds mm. like four uh, two two and a half spoonful of mustard seeds mm. and maybe one and a half to two spoon tablespoon of poppy seeds mm. you make a thick 
smooth paste of that mm. and uh, then you just uh, wrap the paste up on the hilsa pieces mm. nicely mm. and remember to fill the little cavities that you have in the hilsa yes. fish yes and then you know put some mustard oil on top and in any case you have already put salt and turmeric in the fish mm. if you feel the paste will also need a little bit according to your taste add mm. some salt mustard oil on top and mm. some few slit chilies green chilies and that's it you don't have to fry you don't have to roast you don't have to do anything mm. close the lid mm. and steam cook for 15 to 18 minutes and how to steam cook of course you will have variety of ways to steam yes, cook if yes, yes. not anything just put it in the pressure cooker put mm. some water in it put a base and put your container with the Under lid tightly yes. yes and then steam it for 15 to 18 minutes and leave it to cool down in that pot only in that container only right. and after an hour or so you will find it easy to open it mm. and then look at it look at the flavor and oh my god by the sherry <laughs> out has started to water <laughs> it is eaten with rice yes boiled rice steamed rice wonderful it sounds sounds really interesting and it really is mustard anything with mustard in fish is is uh, bengal's absolute uh, you know signature dish it is yes it is so ruku that fish was absolutely delicious and uh, now you have something sweet also for us kuch meetha to banta hai bilkul bilkul bengali se baat karenge aur machli aur meetha nahi hua to to incomplete baat hui na that is totally so to बिल्कुल तो मैं आपको बताना चाहूंगी कि हमारी बहुत ऑथेंटिक ट्रेडिशनल जो मिठाई है वो है नोतुन गुड़ेर पाइश वेन आई से नोतुन गुड़ मीन्स द जैगरी द खजूर का गुड़ विच ओनली एंड ओनली हैपन्स इन विंटर टाइम सो बंगालीज वी बाय in big quantities in in reasonably big quantities and we save it for the year you know we mm. keep it we store it in our refrigerator and it stays fine mm. so that is what makes it notun gudel paish yes. if one doesn't have the notun gud then one can add sugar yes. but uh, generally ideally it is the best the is flavor of the notun gud yes it's so palm yes. jaggery it's just so wonderful suppose if uh, you have to cook kheer for four people four mm. to five people mm. ideally uh, you know you can take 2 liters of milk if you, if you take full cream it takes lesser time mm. uh, lesser time as in still two and a half to three hours right mm. because we, we make it really thick thick ha huh? uh, so if take full cream 2 liters of milk and mm. uh, bring it to boil and let it you know boil let it simmer for maybe uh, an a half an hour to 45 minutes mm. let it boil on low flame mm. and in the meanwhile uh, in bengal they take gobindo bhog rice mm. but here in north india we take whatever rice we eat uh, yes. every yes. day yeah mm. we take the normal rice mm. and very little rice for 2 liters of milk we take maybe 2 tablespoon of rice mm. and uh, wash it nicely and if you want to make it a little fancy you can uh, you know roast it in a little bit of ghee the the washed rice you can roast it in a little mm. bit of ghee mm. maybe half or one spoonful of ghee otherwise if you don't roast it then also it comes out pretty fine mm. so after after your milk has boiled for 45 minutes mm. add the washed roasted rice into that uh, mm. boiling milk and mm. let it boil for another 2 to 2 and a half to 2 hours i think so should be fine mm. with full cream milk mm. let it boil mm. and you will see for yourself that the milk had thickened and the color of the milk also Changes. should have changed mm. you know it becomes mm. a little light brownish mm. Mm. just switch off the gas mm. and while the kheer while the paish is still very hot see as per your taste mm. uh, break the pieces of uh, notun gur to small pieces and put it in that hot paish hot right. kheer 
एंड इट डिजोल्व ऑन इट्स ओन डिपेंडिंग ऑन वॉट काइंड ऑफ हाउ हाउ स्वीट यू वॉन्ट इट वॉन्ट टू मेक इट बिकॉज बी बेंगोल इज रियली लाइक इट रियली रियली स्वीट सो वी पीप या पुट अराउंड टू हंड्रेड टू टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टी ग्राम्स इन टू लीटर्स मिल्क गुड हाँ गुड लॉट लेकिन बहुत ज्यादा मीठा नहीं खाना है तो मे बी वन एंड हाफ ग्राम बिल्कुल लेकिन कभी कभी प्रसाद चढ़ाना होता है तो हम टेस्ट नहीं कर सकते नहीं कर सकते वो भी बात है है ना तो 200 हंड्रेड ग्राम्स नहीं दे के फिर वन फिफ्टी ग्राम्स दे सकते हैं और फिर भगवान जी को थोड़ा फीका चढ़ा अगर दिया है तो उसके बाद यू कैन बैलेंस इट आउट सो दिस आई एम सेंग वेन यू डोंट एड एनी शुगर एट ऑल अदरवाइज इफ यू हैव लेस क्वान्टिटी ऑफ खजूर का गुड देन यू कैन पुट लिटिल बिट ऑफ शुगर स्वीट एन इट विथ शुगर एंड जस्ट फॉर फ्लेवर यू कैन एड द गुड दैट वे ऑल्सो यू कैन बट सिंस मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम आई हैव इनफ इन स्टोर सो आई आई यूज ऑल गुड ओनली पॉसिबल एज मच एज पॉसिबल I would make and I would take it to school, and the teachers they loved it, and they would always say that you know, इतने जगह में खीर खाया, लेकिन तुम्हारे यहाँ के तुम जैसे खीर बनाते हैं। I know seriously, अब मुझे भी खीर खाने आना तो पड़ेगा ही। I think I'm going to have to come yes. to you to eat the khir. Yes, of course, I would love it. Someday soon. soon. ये तो बहुत ही स्वाद हो गया एंड अब फिश भी हो गया और खीर भी हो गया और दशहरा भी बन गया दिस इज बिन सच ए वंडरफुल कॉन्वर्जेशन नुपुर आई हैव एंजॉयड एवरी मोमेंट ऑफ द स्टोरी एंड देर आर सो मेनी लिटिल बिट्स ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन दैट वी डोंट वी जस्ट टेक फॉर ग्रांटेड के हाँ है वी आर सींग दिस वी डोंट लुक एट वाई something is done yeah. when it's done and you uh, brought in so much information for us maine to puja yeah. nahi bhi mana ke puja mana li i'm sure our <laughs> listeners feel the same way so thank you so uh-huh. much for joining us here uh, this evening and sharing your wonderful puja memories and uh, all your knowledge of the puja with us uh, thank you so much thank you so much i hope uh, you've had a wonderful uh, puja this year after two years you know yes. people have been able to get together so it Absolutely. would be extra special uh, this year mm-hmm. and so my listeners also have had a wonderful treat ye abhi humne kalkatte ki durga puja manai nupur khoshal ke sath so ye abhi thodi si kasar aur bachi hai hamari लास्ट पड़ाव है दशहरे का जो अभी आएगा अगली बार तो सुनते रहिए और इंतजार कीजिए मेरे साथ रसोई के रहस्य पर नमस्कार <laughs>